Northern Lights are born by the charged particles hitting in the atmosphere of Earth. They come from the solar wind. The sun is constantly spitting charged particles, mainly electrons and protons, towards the Earth. And when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they excite the small particles of the atmosphere, oxygen and nitrogen, and to the higher energy levels. And when these higher energy levels relax, we can see photons emitted by the process. And from higher up in the atmosphere, we can see the green and red auroras caused by the oxygen atoms being uh, excited and relaxed. And then from the lower parts of the atmosphere, about 100 kilometers altitude, we can see the crimson and blue hues coming from the nitrogen atoms. At the altitude of about Kilpisjärvi, we can really have three out of four nights displaying aurora borealis. But of course, during the summertime, the sun is not really setting down, so you don't really see the auroras because they are so dim against the lit sky. But so you, you should go out in the middle of night. It's best to go in the midnight when it's, when it's very dark and expect the, the, clou the clouds to be away or wait for the clouds to be away. And also in the southern Finland, like in Helsinki region, on average, you, we get, we in principle should see northern lights once a month, like every month. But in practice, there's, it's a kind of a joke, only two of these nights during the whole year are without any clouds. We can try to estimate the probability of northern lights occurring in any night. So we can try to understand the sun and the physics of sun, how sun is working. And we can observe the sun. So we can see when the flares, when the particle streams are released from the sun. And from this we can anticipate maybe the speed at which they are coming and when they are going to hit our atmosphere. And, and from this we, we might be able to do this kind of prognosis. And we are doing this. We have this Auroras Now service from the Finnish Meteorological Institute where space physicists are doing every night or every day they are, they are making the prognosis for the next night. So you can actually get the information on your mobile phone and and see when would be the best time to go outside. So these energetic particles hitting the atmosphere, they also hit everything that is in the atmosphere or above it, like International Space Station and the astronauts there. So they might suffer, their DNA might suffer damages due to this. But also the electronics in the space station might suffer from these electronic particles, as kind of all the electronics of different satellites. So it's important to try to forecast the auroras, because that way we can actually turn off some of the satellites before, before the solar wind hits them. And this way we, try to, we can try to eliminate the damage. Mm -hmm.